LIDOS, formerly known as Science Applications International Corporation SAIC, is an American defense, aviation, information technology, and biomedical research company headquartered in Reston, Virginia, that provides scientific, engineering, systems integration, and technical services. LIDOS works extensively with the United States Department of Defense fourth largest DOD contractor FY2012, the United States Department of Homeland Security, and the United States Intelligence Community, including the NSA, as well as other U.S. government civil agencies and selected commercial markets. LIDOS has four central divisions, civil, health, advanced solutions, and defense and intelligence. The civil division focuses on integrating aviation systems, securing transportation measures, modernizing IT infrastructure, and engineering energy efficiently. The health division focuses on optimizing medical enterprises, securing private medical data, and improving collection and data entry methods. The Advanced Solutions Division is centered around data analysis, integrating advanced defense and intelligence systems, and increasing surveillance and reconnaissance efficiency. The Defense and Intelligence Division focuses on providing air service solutions, geospatial analysis, cybersecurity, intelligence analysis, and supporting operations efforts. On September 27, 2013, SAIC changed its name to LIDOS and spun off a new and independent $4 billion government services and information technology company which retained the Science Applications International Corporation name, LIDOS is the direct successor to the original SAIC. Before the split, LIDOS employed 39,600 employees and reported $11.17 billion in revenue and $525 million net income for its fiscal year ended January 31, 2013, making it number 240 on the Fortune 500 list. In 2014, LIDOS reported $5.06 billion in revenue. In August 2016, the deal to merge with the entirety of Lockheed Martin's Information Systems and Global Solutions IS and GS business came to a close, more than doubling the size of LIDOS and its portfolio, and positioning the company as the global defense industry's largest enterprise in the federal technical solutions sector. As of February 2019, the company has 32,000 employees. In 2018, LIDOS reported $10.19 billion in revenue. Topic history The company was founded by J. Robert Bob Baster in 1969 in the La Jolla neighborhood of San Diego, California, as Science Applications Incorporated SCI. Baster, a former scientist for the Westinghouse Atomic Power Division, and Los Alamos National Laboratory who became the chairman of the Accelerator Physics Department of General Atomics in 1957, raised the money to start SI by selling stock he had received from General Atomics, combined with funds raised from the early employees who bought stock in the young enterprise. Initially the company's focus was on projects for the U.S. government related to nuclear power and weapons effects study programs. The company was renamed Science Applications International Corporation SAIC as it expanded its operations. Major projects during Baster's tenure included work on radiation therapy for the Los Alamos National Laboratory, technical support and management assistance to the development of the cruise missile in the 1970s, the cleanups of the Three Mile Island nuclear generating station after its major accident, and of the contaminated community of Love Canal, design and performance evaluation of the Stars and Stripes 87, the winning ship for the 1987 America's Cup, and the design of the first luggage inspection machine to pass new Federal Aviation Authority tests following the terrorist bombing of Pan American Flight 103 over Lockerbie, Scotland. Contrary to traditional business models, Baster originally designed SAIC as an employee owned company. 
This shared ownership was accompanied by shared responsibility and freedom in business development, and allowed SAIC to attract and retain highly educated and motivated employees that helped the company to grow and diversify. After Baster's retirement in 2003, SAIC conducted an initial public offering of common stock on October 17, 2006. The offering of 86,250,000 shares of common stock was priced at $15 per share. The underwriters, Bear Stearns and Morgan Stanley, exercised overlockment options, resulting in 11.25 million shares. The IPO raised $1.245 billion. Even then, employee shares retained a privileged status, having 10 times the voting power per share over common stock. In September 2009, SAIC relocated its corporate headquarters to their existing facilities in Tyson's Corner in unincorporated Fairfax County, Virginia, near McLean. In 2012, SAIC was ordered to pay $550 million to the city of New York for overbilling the city over a period of seven years years on the city time contract. In 2014 Gerard Denno, SAIC's city time program manager, and his government contact were sentenced to 20 years in prison for fraud and bribery related to that contract. In August 2012, SAIC announced its plans to split into two publicly traded companies. The company spun off about a third of its business, forming an approximately $4 billion per year service company focused on government services, including systems engineering, technical assistance, financial analysis, and program office support. The remaining part became a $7 billion per year IT company specializing in technology for the national security, health, and engineering sectors. The smaller company was led by Tony Maracco, who beforehand was leading SAIC's intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance group, and the bigger one was led by John P. Jumper. The split has allowed both companies to pursue more business, which it could not pursue as a single company which would have resulted in conflicts of interest. In February 2013, it was announced that the smaller spin-off company would get the name. Science Applications International Corporation, and stay in the current headquarters, while the larger company would change its name to Lidos, created by clipping the word kaleidoscope, and would move its headquarters to Reston. The split was structured in a way that SAIC changed its name to Lidos, then spun off the new SAIC as a separate publicly traded company. However, Lidos is the legal successor of the original SAIC and retains SAIC's pre-2013 stock price history. <laughs> <laughs> Management CEO, Roger Crone After more than 30 years of Baster's leadership, Kenneth C. Dahlberg was named the CEO of SAIC in November 2003. In May 2005, the company changed its external tagline from an employee-owned company to From Science to Solutions. The third CEO was Walt Havenstein, who pushed for tighter integration of the company's historically autonomous divisions, which led to lower profit and revenue. The strategy was reversed by the fourth CEO, retired Air Force General John P. Jumper, appointed in 2012. On July 1, 2014 Lidos announced that Roger Crone would become its CEO on July 14, 2014. As of 2019, Crone is the chairman and CEO of Lidos. Topic: Operations. The Defense Intelligence Agency (DIA) transitioned a remote viewing program to SAIC in 1991, which was renamed Stargate Project. In March 2001 SAIC defined the concept for the NSA Trailblazer project. In 2002, NSA contracted SAIC for $280 million to produce a technology demonstration platform 
For the agency's project, a digital network intelligence system to analyze data carried on computer networks. Other project participants included Boeing, Computer Sciences Corporation, and Booz Allen Hamilton. According to science news site Fazorg.com, Trailblazer was a continuation of the earlier ThinThread program. In 2005, NSA Director Michael Hayden told a Senate hearing that the Trailblazer program was several hundred million dollars over budget and years behind schedule. In fiscal year 2003, SAIC did more than $2.6 billion in business with the United States Department of Defense, making it the ninth largest defense contractor in the United States. Other large contracts included a bid for information technology for the 2004 Olympics in Greece from 2001 to 2005. SAIC was the primary contractor for the FBI's unsuccessful virtual case file project. During fiscal year 2012, latest figure available, SAIC had more than doubled its business with the DOD to $5,988,489,000, and was the fourth largest defense contractor on the annual list of the top 100. Lidos ranked 292 on the 2017 Fortune 500 list. Topic subsidiaries Lidos Biomedical Research, Inc., formerly SAIC, Frederick, a wholly owned subsidiary of Lidos manages Frederick National Laboratory for Cancer Research. MEDPROTECT, LLC supports U.S. government health payer organizations reveal, develops dual-energy X-ray computed tomography systems for explosives detection at airports and similar facilities CloudShield Technologies a wholly owned subsidiary, specializing in cybersecurity Varec, Inc., liquid petroleum asset management company Lidos Health Lidos Canada, formerly SAIC Canada, wholly owned subsidiary works with Canadian government. Lidos Australia Lidos Pty Limited, wholly owned subsidiary, specializing in document technologies and cybersecurity. Produces Teratext software. Lidos UK Lidos Innovations UK Limited, Lidos Europe Limited, Lidos Supply Limited and Lidos Limited, wholly owned subsidiary, specializing in managed IT services and solutions, developing of bespoke products. Produces, supports and maintains the Chroma Airport Suite, also responsible for the MOD supply chain. Lidos Engineering, LLC, formerly SAIC Energy, Environment and Infrastructure LLC, assembles the legacy of engineering capabilities of Benham Investment Holdings, LLC, RW Beck Group, Inc., and Patrick Energy Services. QTC Management, Inc., acquired by merging with Lockheed Martin IS and GS. Systems Made Simple SMS, acquired by merging with Lockheed Martin IS and GS. Topic former subsidiaries AMSEC LLC, a business partnership between SAIC and Northrop Grumman subsidiary Newport News Shipbuilding divested on July 13, 2007. Network Solutions was acquired by SAIC in 1995, and subsequently was acquired by Verisign, Inc. for $21 billion. Lidos Cyber, Inc., formerly Lockheed Martin Industrial Defender, acquired by merging with Lockheed Martin IS and GS, was sold to Capgemini in 2018. Topic. Customs and Border Control contract In late 2016, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security's Customs and Border Protection CBP agency awarded LIDOS with a $66 million contract. LIDOS will provide mobile scanning systems to CBP, which will help border agents find illegal materials in vehicles and cargo. The scanners are called VACISM 6500. They allow agents to perform non-intrusive inspections of vehicles and cargo. 
Each day, CBP screens over 67,000 cargo containers. The contract calls for delivery of 22 VACIS M6500 scanners. Topic: Controversies. Topic: Revolving door. The company has had as part of its management, and on its board of directors, many well-known ex-government personnel including Melvin Laird, Secretary of Defense in the Nixon administration, William Perry, Secretary of Defense for Bill Clinton, John M. Deutsch, President Clinton's CIA Director, Admiral Bobby Ray Inman who served in various capacities in the NSA and CIA for the Ford, Carter and Reagan administrations, and David Kay who led the search for weapons of mass destruction after the 1991 Gulf War and served under the Bush administration after the 2003 Iraq invasion. In 2012, 26 out of 35 SAIC Inc. lobbyists previously held government jobs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Campaign contributions. SAIC is among the eight top contributors to federal candidates, parties, and outside groups with $1,209,611 during the 2011-2012 election cycle according to information from the Federal Election Commission. The top candidate recipient was Barack Obama. FBI software dispute In June 2001 the FBI paid SAIC $122 million to create a virtual case file VCF software system to speed up the sharing of information among agents. But the FBI abandoned VCF when it failed to function adequately. Robert Mueller, FBI director, testified to a congressional committee. When SAIC delivered the first product in December 2003 we immediately identified a number of deficiencies 17 at the outset. That soon cascaded to 50 or more and ultimately to 400 problems with that software. We were indeed disappointed. SAIC Executive Vice President Arnold L. Punaro claimed that the company had "...fully conformed to the contract we have and gave the taxpayers real value for their money." He blamed the FBI for the initial problems, saying the agency had a parade of program managers and demanded too many design changes. He stated that during 15 months that SAIC worked on the program, 19 different government managers were involved and 36 contract modifications were ordered. There were an average of 1.3 changes every day from the FBI, for a total of 399 changes during the period. Punaro said. Sexual harassment and racial bias In a heavily redacted report dated January 3, 2018, the Inspector General for the Department of Defense determined that a supervisor at Lidos made inappropriate sexual and racial comments to a female contractor, and that when she complained of a hostile work environment, Lidos retaliated by excluding her from further work on an additional contract. The report found that Lidos's claim that the contract employee exhibited poor performance throughout her employment lacked supporting evidence. It recommended that U.S. Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis consider appropriate action against Lidos such as compensatory damages, including back pay, employee benefits and other terms and conditions of employment that the contractor would have received under the additional contract. Topic. See also CIA 
Top 100 U.S. Federal Contractors <laughs>